it's me Arun and today I thought it would be really helpful and cool if I shared my new year's resolutions with you guys maybe to inspire you maybe to make you feel like you're not alone people are outside being loud um, basically the reason I wanted to sit outside today was so it's a fresh start outside with light and love and positivity and New Year's resolutions shouldn't be looked at as a negative thing if you don't accomplish them. This is more for me a guideline or something I can go back to if I'm feeling unmotivated and this is my kind of my why as well. So my first, let's just get started actually. Also for I start though, if you don't want to do news resolutions, that's fine. I normally don't, but this year I thought, let me try some, just for shits and giggles. Um, I might not complete all of these and that's fine. I may have made too many, that's okay. I'm still learning and we are all human. Anyway, let's start, shall we? So my first news resolution is I am going to try and per month from four videos in one weekend. So all I have to do weekly is edit them instead of having to film them per week. I think this might help me with being more consistent. If I don't manage to do that, that's fine. I'm doing two associates next year. And if you don't know what an associate is, that is basically a teaching degree. And I'm also doing a drama ATCL, which is a very big, expensive drama performance that I need in order, that I need to do in order, like the exam, I need to do that exam in order to be able to do my drama teaching exam next year or my fourth year. It's a lot, there's a lot happening next year. So if I don't upload consistently, I'm not going to be too mad at myself, but I'm hoping that filming four videos on a Sunday maybe, because I don't do a lot on Sundays normally is going to be my way of being able to upload consistently and then also give earlier access to my members so that is not if it doesn't happen it's fine but it's a why the why is the why being that i want to be more consistent so that is why i want to do it i want to try and get better at youtube shorts um the why is because not everyone's attention span is long enough and like for YouTube videos anymore and I want other people to be able to enjoy content that is suited to them so it might just be highlights from my videos it might be TikTok trends that I upload onto YouTube and then my TikTok she's not a public she's public but she's not meant to she's just meant to be for friends and stuff that's not a marketing tool at all for me um, yeah the why I want to be better at shorts as I said is to be able to deliver content to everyone as they want it my third resolution is to spend more time on self-care I realized this year I got really burnt out really fast why because I didn't take time I was this also leads on to one of the other ones, but I was just too busy saying yes to everyone and not spending enough time on myself. So even if it is just 10 minutes a week, just going on a 10 minute walk or something or doing a 10 minute face mask, I want to do more for myself just so that I don't get as burned out and that I can be a balanced human being. So that's my why for spending more time on self care. My other goal is, or New Year's, this is a goal, is to read two books next year. I love reading books. Please, call me up in a corner with a good book and I'm happy. I have tens of thousands of books downloaded on my phone. I don't ever get time to read though. It's taken me half a year to read one book. Not even, I haven't finished it yet. So hopefully next year, even though I won't have as much time as this year, I'll find the time to read a book, even if it is just five minutes a day. That will also, the two books will also contribute to spending more time on myself. So that is my reasoning, that is my goal. Or like my only goal I have, no I have two. I have three goals that is like cut dry solid smart method. My other, res my next resolution is learning how to say no. 
Now that might sound like a bad thing, but trust me, you can ask anyone and study with. If someone is struggling with something and you ask me, I will say yes. To the detriment of myself, where I will be too tired and something that I want to do for myself because I was busy covering other people's classes. So I would get home, want to do something, like film a video, but I said yes to three other people's classes to cover and I'm too tired to film a video. So I don't want to just be saying no the whole time, but I want to do things that only I think I will benefit from and not just do it because someone asked me to. And if I don't enjoy working with the person, then I should say no. There's sometimes people have asked me things and I don't enjoy working with them and I say yes. So I also need to learn to stop offering myself up to help as much because it is making me more tired and burnt out and it's not to my own benefit. And it might seem selfish, but in my it is my nature to want to help others. So I will still be doing it, but I just need to learn to do it less and be a bit more selfish, not in a rude way. My other smart method one is I want to do my point work daily. Why? My feet are getting there. I only started point work two years ago, three years ago, after this year. Three years ago and I'm an advanced one ballerina. <laughs> or an advanced one ballet, I'm an advanced one ballet which is the second highest level for ICD. And I want to do my exam next year. And even though my stability has gotten way better overall and everything because I was very like loosey-goosey my point work can still be better and I can see it improving which is really helpful but I need to do my point work daily in order to get the strength to be able to do the exam so I want to do that next year and my why is so that I can do my exam and go to advanced too which seems so pretty and so much fun my next one is to do my any just like even if it's half an hour of associates work daily fuck off birds in the beginning of the year why i don't want to be overwhelmed at the end of the year i'm looking at associates now and some of them are like i don't want to work i want to do my associates from the first day of class i want to work on it half an hour daily minimum um i haven't read the book but i've watched a lot of videos about it atomic habits by james blunt he says that if you can't increment two minutes a day to a habit, how should you increment more? Or something like that along the lines of that. So if I only start with half an hour a day or 15 minutes a day, I'll slowly be able to build more because I'll have added the habit. And then it's not as much of a mission to start the habit and to make it longer. But if I stay an hour, it's going to be more of a mission to start. My next one is not smart or anything, but I want to go on more walks with my dog. I love him to bits and I don't have time for him and going on walks even though I fell on my last one which is very funny I have holes on my hands and knees everywhere um, it was really fun going on a walk with him I cleared my mind I got in some fresh air I want to do that more often I want to bond with my dog and I want to explore the neighborhood I want to take time for myself and my very very last one and maybe no not the most important one <laughs> is i want to get my learners and driver's license so i can vroom vroom around town um i technically can get my learners already but i still have to do my id for that that is a mission and a half to do so i'm in the process of doing it it's just taking longer than i expected to do it but yes i am 17 now so i can get my learners in south africa but I first need to get my ID done. So once that is done, you bet I will be doing my learners. And then my goal is like two weeks after my birthday or a week after my 18th to go and get my driver's license. So it's done, it's sorted with, I can drive a car. If something, I can start doing more jobs then. So like I wanted, to, cause someone at college is like, no, a really easy job for us to do is pet sitting. Cause you basically just go look after pets in a house. You send a fancy house you look after a pet and that's it so i want to do that however ever if something happens to the pet i have to drive them to the vet so i can't really do that but yeah driving this is gonna it's gonna make life easier or if i want to go do something quickly i can just jump in the car and go instead of having to find someone or uber or something 
that's basically my resolutions. Um, will I be sticking to some of them? Maybe. Will I be sticking to all of them? Maybe. Am I going to put pressure on myself? No. This is just a little idea if I'm feeling unmotivated or if I am feeling extremely motivated. Just something to go back to, just to be like, it's okay. You can do this. You'll be fine. As I said, it's more of a why and not a you need to. Um, and yeah, I hope you feel inspired. Or if not, I hope you feel whatever you want to feel out of this video and that your day gets better. It's me, Arun, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, Happy New Year's, which is in two days when I upload this video. Right now, it's like November, so... But in two days when this video is uploaded, it'll be New Year's. So, Happy New Year's. I hope we have a great 2023 together. And let's all try our best. And that's all that matters, that we're trying our best. Not what Susan is doing, but you're trying your best. Anyway, it's me, Arwen, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like if you did, subscribe because I'm a YouTuber and I have to ask, turn on notifications even though they don't work, huge massive great big shout out to my members names whose names will be on the screen after this. If you're a new member and I don't have your name or if you're an old member and your name is still up there, I'm so sorry. I am uploading and pre-filming this like months in advance, well it's November, a month in advance and so I will be as updated as it is but if it's not then you'll find your name in the comments down below in the pinned comment i hope you have a great day and happy new year stay safe